okay so we are about to start the skin detailing and i'm going to start from the lip again there is no reason from starting there it's my personal choice so i'm going to do the lip in this video and again we are going to do the face later so let's see how to sculpt the lip and for the lip i have decided not to use any you know alphas i'm going to do it manually by using damn standard and standard brush so let's see how to do this so first of all i want to subdivide this mess once more now we have six million and i was just checking and the, for the skin details i need some more polygons so just check if you don't get the small details and if you get those pixelated details then you might need to subdivide it so i'm going to subdivide it once more and this would be the last time because my system cannot handle more so now it says uh, you have in layer mode recording mode so i need to you know turn off that recording mode in order to subdivide this mesh so you need to turn off this and let's just subdivide it and now my mesh is 27 million just for the body it's too much but i need that for the details now i'm going to create a new layer so i'm going to do all those leaf details in a layer so that i can you no know, adjust later or i can if i want to delete it if i want to hide it i can do that so click on here and let's take a layer and give it a name okay leaf and just remember as you create more layer it can you know increase the file size of your you know gbrush file size it can increase it so make sure you only have those layers you know, which you need and later you can collapse them as well you can bake all later once you do you no know, finish it finish the model you can bake all and it will be all baked to the mess so for now i need the layer in case i you know i might change the opacity or something like that so now i'm going to start the lip detailing so I'm going to use standard for this lip, you no know, cracks. You can see if you check the lips, we have this big you no know, cracks there. And you can see the other image, you can see these big lines. This most of the time these are the vertical lines. So we are going to do all those things first. So I'm going to take the damp standard brush here. Let's press four. I have said that. Oh sorry, three for that. So ram standard here on that layer i'm going to sculpt so now i'm going to turn off this symmetry i don't want the symmetry here uh, in the nearby area of the you know, center line so if you put the symmetry lines it would be obvious and you shouldn't do that because these are very unique non-symmetrical detail okay so i'm turning off this symmetry line for now now i'm going to add some lines so I'm going to quiet for a while when I'm doing this. Just try to put some you no know, crisscrossing kind of line. Don't put every line parallel like this. Just try to give some variation to those vertical lines. They are vertical still they are like coming from different a little bit different angle like this you can see this line is going there and this line is a little bit off angle so make sure you do that otherwise it will look very artificial and try to give different intensity so i'm adjusting my pressure so i'm putting more pressure when i'm when i want a deep line and i'm putting less pressure when i want a light line there so try to you know, give that variation as well with the angle variation and here to this close this border you can see there are very fine lines as well very small fine lines and we're going to do that as well so let's put some very fine lines to this border i need to go up to a division label there so press d to go up 
so that I can put some fine lines there and crisscrossing line some vertical lines like this Just try to make those very organic looking don't you know draw them don't you know try to do a very unique shape there so just roughly do this and try to understand the you no know, understand the process there so you can see here we need this kind of loops very fine lines with crisscrossing effect And look at the you no know, detail from distance as well. Okay, something like this. And let's put something on the upper lip. So again for the upper leaf there are some big bolt line okay so nothing fancy just put these lines and sometimes it's very hard to see here because of the shadows and for that i have this light setup here uh, you can find that here so if you change the lighting direction you can see your you no know, mess better if the light is like coming from the straight front now you can see the lip better okay so just do those line works then i'm going to give some you know in between volume to those those wrinkles uh, for those i'm going to use standard so let's go to standard brush here so i'm talking about you no know, in between lines areas now they are just flat so we need to give some in flat or you know, volume to those areas you can see so let's go there and let's increase some you can even you know you can even just you know define them properly so let's go up to the division level and i'm going to just you know follow this already i have all these details so i'm going to follow those things so let's go and give them a little you know, can see little little volume to those so just basic standard So just do the same thing with the lower lip as well. Okay, 
So now I'm going back to the damp standard to refine these fine lines a bit better. So I'm going to refine those. Again, putting some you no know, cross horizontal lines as you can see here. I'll try to get the transition well there. Okay, so I'm changing the light direction again to look from different from different lighting perspective. You can see your details better. So let's go back to the model. So here you can see we have completed the leaf here. And if you check this leaf border area, you can find some very fine pores. You can see this area especially. So I'm going to put those. So I'm going to use some you no know, alpha brushes to get those pores detail. So I'm going to light box and go to brush here. So I have already put those inside the ZBrush folder inside my you no know, program files folder. So here that folder and this is the free brush I showed you in the last video. You can find this spike you no know, brush double click on it. So I'm going close here and I'm going to hold alt. So now you can see it's very fine. So I'm going to increase the brush size. So I want this, you no, know, this detail here. So I'm holding now Alt to reverse that. Now intensity is too low there. So I want a little intense. Now again, you can put all these details into different layers so that you can you know change the opacity or even delete that if you, you know want to delete that later and for a little surface to the lip i can again use this alpha let's go to a lower division level and maybe on this one now i can increase the brush size and i can put that with a light intensity now to get a little variation on the leaf you can see the little little variation you can see you can see the no surface quality of the leaf they are a little bit bumpy very hard to notice but it's there it changes that no and then i want to stop it and then you can see this area there is a secondary form which i don't have that this leaf corner has a little you no know, this area is like going up and then down then up so I don't have that you no know, down thing there up there's a no down thing so I'm going to standard brush here so now on this stage I can use standard to you no know, change the secondary form so I'm going to do that so let's press X to turn on symmetry and I'm going to get that secondary but make sure you are on a you no know, lower division level so basically I'm changing the secondary form there and even I can put a little bit from there to the lip. So always look for the secondary as well. When you do the you no know, details, still look for some secondary shape. If you are missing that, do that. And in the next video, we are going to start working on the skin, skin of the face.